I always enjoy when I read in the general press. I don't know why I enjoy it. Perhaps it's vanity on my part. But I believe it's more than vanity. When I read in the general press that no statements were issued by the Israeli government in Yerushalayim because it is Sabbath today and all offices are closed. I enjoyed it very much when I read in the Globe yesterday that actually the proclamation of the State of Israel was on the 14th of May. But since the State of Israel observes the Hebrew calendar, it was the 5th of year. 5th of year. And since the 5th of year coincided this year with Friday, the Friday, and they were afraid that the, sh the Shabbos did not desecrate it by the celebration, they advanced it to service, particularly when the Christian side is monetized. Uh, and then the this means Kiddush Hashem. So, but the all right, I'm not I'm not completely in agreement at all with, with the government of Israel. There are many many policies which are wrong, fallacious. But however, I mean we have to have a look. I mean those are small details, peripheral matters. The main idea is correct, and there is no doubt that the Ashgore is planning something. It's far from Gula yet, but the Ashgore is planning. Something that Ashgore holds something in store for us. Okay. I don't know, we are still groping in the dark. I don't know what, what will happen. To me, it's not, the chapter has not been closed yet. The chapter has not been closed yet. Uh, just we are in the middle of the writing a chapter. The Ashgore is in the middle of writing a chapter on history. What the con continuation will follow, what the continuation will be, I don't know. I don't know, no one knows. I have faith in God that it will lead to 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 go the shleima, but whatever 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 happens and transpires is magnificent and has tremendous significance to the Jewish community as such and to individuals as well. I mean, not only to the community as such, but every Jewish individual. After all, Nevi's Nevuas has been realized. Certain prophecies have been realized. Realized, I wouldn't say in full. Certain prophecies have found their, their fulfillment and realization, and not every generation in the last 2,000 years could take pride in the, fa in the fact that during its time, a prophecy by, I by Isaiah I mean, was realized. Our generation has been somehow, has been fortunate, I mean, that some of the Ashgore has found it necessary to implement certain prophecies and we have been waiting for it thousands of years. You ask me why our, why our generation? You ask me why our generation? Why not the generation of the Vilna Goya? This question has been raised. This question has been raised by the Satmara. This is the question is there. If actually, I mean, the establishment of the state of Israel is so important, as you say, it, it is actually a result of the will of God, not as opposed to the will of the Satan. I mean, the Satan is somehow uh, uh, Satan, Satan as, a, as, as an autonomous power, I mean, which rules the world. I mean, I mean actually has a duality. I mean, actually, man has a certain duality of darkness and light. I mean, Satan and God. It's a very strange, strange, distorted philosophy uh, he advocates in his, in his Satan. Oh, never mind his, 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 uh, his uh, would say, arguments with the, the Zionism. I'm not interested in that. The question, what, what I'll tell you, a question should be answered. The question should never be thrown into a wasteland. If you don't know how to answer a question, say you don't know. Don't try to ignore a question. This is one of the, of our shortcomings, particular for orthodoxy. We ignore questions. A question which is unpleasant, so we ignore it. We don't hear. We don't hear the question. A question address should either be answered, or one, one should admit, insoluble. All right? Insoluble, yeah, there are many equations in mathematics which are insoluble. And still, mathematics retains its dignity on it. But if mathematics should try to ignore an equation which is insoluble, you understand? So I don't have it in mathematics, you understand? <laughs> you understand? This is again with orthodoxy. If, if you ask a question, I was a Question got to be answered. No? Ah, this is my answer. <laughs> Either answer the question, resolve the problem, or admit, I mean, your inability, your, your, that you're not competent, I mean, to answer a certain problem. 
The problem is a good problem. Why this great miracle did not happen in the 11th, in the 12th century when my money was alive. What But to say that our generation was, is more, is worthier, is more worthy than, than the generation of my money then? Or the generation of the Yuma Golden, the generation of the Baal Shem Tov? Why did it happen now? Because my mandates could get along without us. And a matter of fact, we did get along without us. We get along very well without us. Chazal says, says, say, Midborich Nove. If you interpret Midborich Nove, your speech is pleasant. The Chazal says, Midborich Nove, your desert is pleasant. The Chazal said, in the exile, the Jews have excelled themselves. And they've exhibited, actually, I mean, so much, displayed so much tenacity and so much consecration and so much loyalty that the Jews in the second and the first Commonwealth, I mean, are actually, I mean, do not actually, cannot stand up, I mean, and, and, and claim as much credit as the Jew in exile in Germany during the Crusade or for the 1648 during the Khmelnytsky program. The Jew in exile was a proud Jew, a Jew was ready for sacrifice. But however, after this Holocaust, the Hitler Holocaust, six million people disappeared, one third actually perished. And missionaries who worked actually don't know what was going on in European countries. In America it was not so noticeable, because we live in complex matters with Jewish ghettos. But the Jews who live in, in France and in England and in Italy, I mean, they were actually a swarm of missionaries descended upon them. Don't you see the words of the gospel are being fulfilled? That God is angry at you? Do, do you still, I mean, believe that, that your, your attitude vis-a-vis, -vis, I mean, the Christ was the right one? But now if you just accept, accept, I mean, baptism, I mean, all problems will be resolved. And I'll tell you, if not for the dinner of Israel, I don't know what would have happened to the small communities throughout the world. Mad assimilationism of the worst kind. Disintegration because of black despair. Of black despair. Because of simply not being able to understand what happened. Do you understand still? Do you understand what happened? Can we explain? Can any theologian explain it? Can any philosopher interpret? Just accept them in the will of God. But all right, for the real mining, for the man who has indomitable faith in God, all right, it's possible, but for the people who are just on the borderline. I mean, we, we, you don't understand what happened. We cannot explain it. It was a time of Esther upon it. Complete hiding of the faith. I mean, God actually turned his face, he turned his back on our people. It's not so much so, you don't know. I mean, it's impossible to imagine actually, what would have happened to the Jewish diaspora, to the dispersion. That's why our generation, so something which previous generations did, but our generation was in despair and was in need of it.